All right, everybody, it's time. I'm gonna start tearing it apart. So we can put our five three in it. In about ten minutes, it's not gonna be a running and driving car anymore. Pulled the motor out the bottom. Uh, it's still on the K member struts, all that stuff. Left the transmission attached. I've never seen anybody do that with a Mustang before. That's kind of a, a GM thing, a Camaro Firebird thing. And so there's a couple reasons I did it. Uh, I didn't have to undo any of the steering or any of that stuff. The steering rack's still all on it. The struts are on it. The springs, all that. I didn't have to deal with any of that stuff. All that stuff's getting replaced. The K member the steering rack, the engine, all that stuff. So it was easier to take it all out that way. Uh, it took me about two hours to get everything out of the car. Uh, essentially just unhook the brakes, unhook the steering shaft, drive shaft, exhaust, and the six bolts for the K member. And uh, it's on the ground, so. All right, so this is uh, it's time for my favorite part of the build. Uh, any build that I do, this is my favorite part. The deconstruction for the most part is done. It's time to start putting new parts on the car. So very excited about that. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the K member in the car, uh, the A arms, the struts, the suspension, the steering, that sort of thing. I had thought about assembling that stuff outside the car, putting the motor on the K member and putting it in from the bottom. Uh, I just don't know that there's going to be a super good way to maneuver that loaded K member to do that. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to put the engine in it the conventional way from the top with the cherry picker. Yeah, nothing much left to do but to do it. All right, the K-member's in the car, steering rack's in the car. Had to wrestle with the K-member a little bit, but it's in there now. Uh, I'm still waiting on my struts to show up. So we got the A-arms on there, just held up with cable ties right now. And, there we go, it's getting ready to happen. 5-3 into the Fox body for the first mock-up. Here we go. There it is, fits like a glove.